Okay, now we're gonna show how you do the joint. I always start off with where you plan on having your drop downs um, going through first, because you've prepared the radiuses and you've got everything ready. So what I will do is just PVA glue. Just spread it all along this board here. This all wipes off with damp rags that you'll have waiting. So then I'll just spread it all out. You can use a paintbrush if you want. Um, I always just use my fingers because that's the way I am. You've got to put that finger painting to good use that you learnt in kindergarten. So now that it's all spread, just wipe my hands on some dry, clean rag. So all the curves that you've done on that side and on that side earlier, you just make sure that the groove is facing up and the parts that you sanded are facing down. So then you just put that in the middle so that the um, sides are parallel or flush, I should say. So once you've done that, you put the second one on, uh, obviously matching the, the patterns. Just tap them into place. prefer to use a mallet. Um, if you use a mallet, less chance of things breaking. Just to make sure they're nicely home, put some supporting timber underneath the joint and get yourself a bit of scrap timber. Just put it over the top of the joint. Hammer them home, should be nice and flush. nice and flush no glues hanging out if any glue was hanging out or oozing out just make sure that nicely square when you run your hand over you can sand these later lightly so that's pretty good I'm pretty happy with that so now I usually put a bit of timber on the underside this um, two by three and another one on top of the joint and G clamp this so that way the glue has got time to dry so I put one on that side of the joint, once on this side of the joint, G clamps on. You may need a second person if you can't do this on your own. Uh, put G clamps on the other side as well. And do them up nice and tight. If you don't have many G clamps, you need minimum of four to do one joint just do one joint at a time make sure they're nice and tight and leave to dry usually about 24 hours <laughs> 